Hey, what's up, Jim? What's Mike, going on, buddy? It's so good to see you. Uh, man, it's been a while since the first time I told you, the first time I saw you, I, it was at my high school in Socrates. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, Socrates. That was it. Yeah, it was like a golden glove or something like that. Or, I don't know, probably it was just a local amateur fight or something. Yeah, and I remember our local shoe store, Montano's, uh, sold you a pair of boxing shoes or something like that. And I was like, I love that you got it. Like, that was a big legend around my hometown growing up, is that <laughs> Mike Tyson got his boxing shoes from Montano's. It was the coolest thing ever. And now here you are, Mike Tyson is back. Iron Mike, September oh, man, 12th. I'm so happy. Yeah, man, it's going to be so awesome. I'm so happy to be um, coming back into the ring and facing Roy Jones on September 12th. It's going to be so awesome. And by doing that, I'm also, Jimmy, I'm going to be launching... Being, being the prototype of it, I'm launching my Legends Only League, and it's going to be so awesome. With, uh, with other other leagues from all over, whoever, I don't care, basketball, pool, shark, all the ex-legends who want to play and still able to play and still beautiful like myself, they can come with us. They can call me. We can have anybody. Like before, I was saying, we can have Dennis Rodman go against a man, um, man of World Peace one-on-one. -on -one. Have Greg Wayne Gretzky go against the up and coming young guy one on one. I was have that team because everybody. That's a great you know, idea. This, but this is like how to come about first fight in 15 years. What? How did it happen? What? You, why? Well, I don't know. I wanted to do something good. I, I, I'm embarked on a real charitable um, event, and we're gonna be. Oh man, we're gonna help so many various charities. And I thought it was a great thing to do. Well, of course, I could still do it. Of course. So um, I think I, this is what I want to do. I'm yeah. really looking forward to it. And uh, did you did you pick uh, Roy Jones Jr. out of a lineup, or because you could fight anyone? Hey, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of guys. It started out with Bob Sapp, and I, I I got from Bob Sapp to Roy Jones. I don't know how this happened, but I think this is brilliant because he's the greatest fighter of his generation. I'm the greatest fighter of my generation, and it's just um. It's no brainer that we should clash together. Yeah, you guys never fought before, right? Did you? Were you? No, we, we planned on fighting, but it didn't happen. But this is the opportunity now. I saw the training footage of you on Instagram, and oh my gosh, you got it, man! It's unbelievable. I'm back, man. I'm back. I don't know how come it came back. I started training. I'm back in shape. I'm 228, and I've been boxing and doing well. I can't believe this either, man. It's just um. I don't believe in the fountain of youth, but something just came over me, and I'm back, man. How do you? How does it feel training from 54 compared to when you were 24? Well, it's, not, it's really painful. <laughs> it's really painful. <laughs> and um, uh, from this from this experience right now, I'm never calling another fighter a bum again. Because anybody that does this or attempts to do this is no bum. Yeah, it's tough. It's rough. How how do your kids feel about you coming back? Well, my kids think I should sit my old ass down, but what do they know, of course? You know, um, I'm very confident. They don't know how to fight. Neither one of my kids can beat me in a fight, so what are they talking about? Yeah, exactly. What are well, they um, talking about? Yeah, come on. Where do they, where do they see what Dad does? Uh, I, I, absolutely. I, I have a prediction. I think, well, I know you're going to win because yeah, I know you. You're, you're Mike Tyson. I think, how long is the round? Three, three minutes? Three minutes, three minutes. I, I think here's what happened. I think in your head, you're going to want to go like five rounds. But I think once you get in there and that thing and you get tagged once, the, the hurricane is going to come out. The, the iron mic is going to come out and you're going to lose it. I think I'm going to say fourth round. And that's being well, nice. We're see. Well, why don't we get through a, a lottery and find out? Yeah, I'll, definitely. I'll, I'll come. I'll fly to you. <laughs> Absolutely. I can't it's wait to so see it. It's going to be so awesome. It's going to be so awesome. Mike, who, the Iron Mike, did that come from Custom Auto? Where did you get the nickname Iron Mike? No, somebody has called, started calling me Iron Mike. This uh, gentleman that hung out with a friend of mine, Carlos Santos. And uh, he had said, man, I'm going to buy you a T-shirt that called say Iron Mike. I never knew what that did for. And now everybody calls me Iron Mike. Wow. See, I didn't know that. Uh, and then uh, I just saw some pictures of uh, Jamie Foxx, who is... Unbelievably, I love that guy. He's so talented. He is playing you in a movie called Finding Mike. It's finally happened. We talked about it last time you were on the show, and 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 so now it's finally happening. Hey, man, I'm looking forward to this. This is gonna be really interesting. Me observing myself. 
<laughs> yeah, but Jamie said to me when, when he was here last time, we were talking in the hallway, and he said, I got tons of Mike stories. Like, we hung out. I've been through everything. I've, like, he was with you through the, the good times hey, and listen, the bad times. Jamie also might be participating in a Legends Only League as well, because I'm sure there's some comedians that want to kick his ass. <laughs> so we can get Jamie to participate in this stuff as well. And, if, and listen... It's for all athletes. I'm talking about anybody. Ping pong players, all legendary handball players, all the legends of the past, you know, who's around 45, 50 years old. Come with me. Tell your agent to call me. Get in shape. I'm talking about anybody. I don't care who you are. Maradona, everybody. We go, oh, we got something for you. Legends don't have to stand out. Of course, they're still beautiful like myself and still able to do what they do. So why do they have to not do what they do? We can still have a great um, football team, basketball team, one-on-one -on -one tennis, one-on-one -on -one ping pong, whatever, handball, whatever it is, basketball, yeah. football, whatever it is, we got it. Yeah, just because you, you got older doesn't mean you're not still an athlete. Exactly. How many people you know could still outrun Jerry Rice? Really? No, no one. <laughs> exactly. No one I know. Exactly. And I bet you, and I bet you he has more fan bases and more YouTube followers than the guy that plays his position and the team he used to play for. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a so great listen, idea. Exactly, he doesn't have to die. Why does he have to die? Because they say he can't play no more. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm so excited about this, September 12th, and if anyone needs any more reason to be excited for the fight, take a look at this. Why do I want to be the baddest man on the planet? Sometimes I wish I could stop having these desires to go forward, to think that I'm somebody, because it's a lot of work. You got to be willing to get up every morning, 5 o'clock, hit that road. Every day, certain time, hit that gym. Because that other man over there is willing to do anything you he got to do necessary to win. Human being that I'm meant to be humble. Nobody ever went from dream middleweight and became heavyweight champ. I took off and did it. We're not born to be humble. We're born to be humble. Just like David and Goliath, he's this monster we know. If he can hit you, he can take your head off. And I'm little old David who only has God on my side. Tell me who you want me to kill. That's what I'm talking about.